Before you post your first 835 payment file, we recommend setting your posting options. These options will apply to all of your 835 files. When you open an 835 file in EasyClaim, you'll see an Options button on the right side. Clicking that will open our ANSI 835 posting options. Here is where you can default whether you want an adjustment to apply, track, or ignore. The top portion has your radio selection buttons for adjustments. All adjustments, except 45, are set to track. It's the safest default action as it prevents accidental write-offs from occurring during posting. For more information on adjustment settings, please watch our Apply, Track, Ignore video. The lower portion has our additional options. The top one, Overwrite Existing Allowed Amounts when posting the 835, is seldom checked and only applies if you are manually entering payer allowed amounts for all of your codes in the procedure code library. The second option, Use 835 Payment Date, when checked, will use the check date. Otherwise, today's date will be used for the posting. Note that this change does not automatically apply to the current 835. Either manually adjust the date or close and reopen the file. Next is Apply $0 Disbursements. This needs to be checked if you have claims that need to go out to a secondary payer. You can always override this default by unchecking the Apply Disbursement checkbox on the 835 preview screen if you didn't want a $0 payment to post. The fourth option, Allow Payments and Adjustments Greater Than the Balance to be Applied, is an option we frequently see checked. This allows an overpayment to post, bringing the service line or claim into a credit or negative balance. Without this checked, any overpayments would have to be manually entered. Second from last is an option to not apply reversals a previous payments and adjustments. Last is an option that determines how your adjustments are displayed on the preview screen either by claim status or process status. If you've made any changes, click Save and Close, and the program will ask if you want to apply those new changes to the current file. You would say yes. One thing to note, if you selected to use the payment date, that change doesn't occur until you reopen the file. You still may need to manually change the date of the 835 if you don't reopen the file. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other EasyClaim tutorial videos for additional topics.